It is one of the most thrilling and captivating sci-fi shows on TV right now. Imagine a crew aboard the USS Discovery, venturing more than 900 years beyond the iconic Star Trek, the original series. Their mission? Unveiling a long-lost, incredibly powerful secret that has been stashed away for centuries. And guess what? They're not the only ones after it. Allow us to show you everything we know about Star Trek Discovery Season 5. The Star Trek Discovery Season 5 Story So, what can we expect from the plot of Season 5? Well, according to star Soniqua Martin-Green, who plays Captain Michael Burnham, it's going to be refreshing. As she told Digital Spy, I can say that it's going to be refreshing. It's going to be different than what you have seen before. It's going to be surprising in many ways. And that's not all, as she also teased that Season 5 will explore the power of love and the power of connection. But what can we predict on the fifth season storyline? Well, keep watching because we are about to dive into some warp speed speculations for the fifth season of Star Trek Discovery. And if you thought the fourth season's cliffhanger was a wild ride, just wait till we break down what might be in store for our intrepid crew. So remember that jaw-dropping cliffhanger? The one where the Discovery crew stumbled upon the enigmatic power known as the Anomaly? Yeah, that's the rabbit hole that we're going to tumble down. The Anomaly is this reality-bending phenomenon, is primed to be the star of the show. With its power to manipulate time and space, we can bet our dilithium crystals that the upcoming season will be a deep dive into its origins and purposes. The Anomaly also seems to have a connection to Book's home planet of Quajon, whereas people have a special bond with nature and animals. Therefore, it is most likely that the fifth season will have to continue the storyline and reveal more about the origin and purpose of the Anomaly. It is also expected that the fifth season will also explore how Book deals with the loss of his brother and his planet, and how his relationship with Burnham evolves. We can also expect more character development for the rest of the crew, such as Saru, Stamets, Tilly, Kolber, Adira, Reno, and newcomer Rainer. But that's not all, and let's not forget about the Federation. After the cataclysmic events of The Burn, it has been struggling to regain its former glory. But fear not, because our brave crew is determined to help rebuild it. They'll encounter old friends, new allies, and probably a few tribbles along the way. So why should the Federation return to Earth in Discovery Season 5? Well, we can't forget to talk about a warp speed twist. Federation headquarters and Starfleet swooping in to defend good old Earth from the DMA was pure sci-fi magic. And now the United Earth President is visiting Captain Burnham at Federation headquarters? I mean, it's like Christmas and First Contact Day all rolled into one. Now, we don't know about you, but we couldn't help but get giddy thinking about what this could mean for Star Trek Discovery Season 5. Could it be that the Federation is finally returning to home Earth permanently? It's like the cherry on top of a replicated ice cream sundae. Sure, the whole Federation residing in a space station thing was cool and all, but it's starting to feel a bit like a relic from a bygone era, when the galaxy was in chaos after the burn. It is high time for the Federation to restore the proper status quo. I mean, don't you think? Paris for Federation headquarters and San Francisco for Starfleet? It's like a classic Star Trek throwback and I'm personally loving it. Star Trek Discovery has been blazing new canon trails in the 32nd century, but let's not forget the beauty of the past. Therefore, bringing the Federation back to Earth would be a fitting way to launch a new era for the Alpha Quadrant and send a clear signal that the Federation is back and better than ever. Star Trek Discovery Season 5 Cast Meet the Discovery crew, fun, fast, and fabulous. Leading the pack is Soniqua Martin-Green, the force behind Michael Burnham. Burnham's journey has not been a walk in the space park, but by the fourth season's end, she is shining as Discovery's captain, a guiding star during the Federation's reconstruction. Kudos to Martin Green, who has earned not just praise, but two Saturn Awards for her intricate portrayal of Burnham. And fun fact, before her Trek days, she rocked The Walking Dead as Sasha Williams and graced The Good Wife, New Girl, and Once Upon a Time. 
Next, we have Doug Jones, the master of metamorphosis, who embodies Saru, Discovery's former captain. Jones, the contortionist extraordinaire, clinched Saturn Awards in 2019 and 2021 for his Saru brilliance. And you might have seen him bring Abe Sapien and Hellboy to life, or perhaps as the Fawn and the Pale Man in Pan's Labyrinth. And remember that amphibian man from Shape of Water? Yep, that is Doug Jones too. Then there's Anthony Rapp, the Broadway star who charmed us as Mark and Rent and now dazzles as Paul Stamets. Stamets, the brainiac scientist who gifted the cosmos the mycelial spore drive, even nods to a real mycologist. Here is the cool trivia. Stamets is Star Trek's first openly gay regular character. And Rap, well, he's got musical chops to spare. Wilson Cruz steps in as Dr. Hugh Colbert, Stamets' better half. Cruz had us hooked in the 90s with My So-Called Life and now lends his voice to the Casa Grandes. He is also familiar from Netflix's 13 Reasons Why. Mary Wiseman steps into the shoes of Sylvia Tilly, the starry-eyed cadet who has been slowly climbing the ranks. Tilly is Wiseman's hallmark role, but she also dabbled as Trinity in Baskets and made appearances in Longmire. Blue Del Barrio makes their mark as Adira Tall, a non-binary character, which is a groundbreaking first in Star Trek history. Del Barrio's not just in Discovery, you can also hear them in The Owl House and spot them in Steve Buscemi's The Listener. David Ajala continues his emphatic portrayal of Cleveland Book Booker in the fifth season. Ajala, who once brought Manchester Black to life in Supergirl and starred in Night Flyers, returns for more cosmic adventure. And now, let's talk legends. Keep your eyes peeled for David Cronenberg, the maestro behind classic films like The Fly and Existence. He steps into the shoes of Kovic, a Starfleet operative with motives that rival the mysteries of the cosmos. And if you're ready for some fresh faces, brace yourselves. The fifth season brings Callum Keith Rennie from Battlestar Galactica, Eve Harlow from The 100, and Elias Tufexis from Shadowhunters into the Discovery Fold. Star Trek Discovery Season 5 release date. You're so right, the anticipation is palpable. Paramount Plus greenlit Season 5 back in January of 2022, and filming commenced in June after a five-month delay. Continuing the trend of shorter seasons, Season 5 will span just 10 episodes, down from the more robust episode counts of previous seasons. Originally eyed for an early 2023 premiere on Paramount Plus, its debut was pushed front to early 2024 when the season was confirmed as Discovery's last hurrah. But hey, it's not the quantity that matters, it's the quality. In the meantime, we'll be sitting on the edge of our seats, obsessively checking for updates and counting down the days until we can rejoin the Discovery crew for one final adventure. Whenever it arrives, we know the swan song season will be worth the wait, and send the groundbreaking series off in a spectacular style. Is Star Trek Discovery Season 5 really the last season? While it is bittersweet news, the forthcoming fifth season of Star Trek Discovery will be the show's swan song. Paramount Plus announced earlier this year that the trailblazing series will conclude with its impending fifth season, closing the book on a chapter that revived Star Trek on television and paved the way for a new era of sci-fi storytelling. We are endlessly appreciative to our talented cast and crew who have ventured into uncharted territory, literally, transporting us to remarkable new worlds and realities, said showrunners Alex Kurtzman and Michelle Paradis. We aim to deliver a climactic finish befitting Discovery and its intrepid crew. But fear not, the Trek universe continues to boldly go onward. Additional Star Trek projects remain in the works, including Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which has already begun chronicling the early adventures of Captain Pike and Mr. Spock aboard the USS Enterprise, Star Trek Picard, which recently wrapped up its journey with a third and final season, Star Trek Lower Decks, whose fourth season of animated antics is now underway with the first two episodes already aired, Star Trek Prodigy, bringing Trek to a younger generation, and Star Trek Section 31, which is slated to delve into the shadowy dealings of the clandestine division potentially premiering as early as 2024. 
Now, while we will miss Discovery, we look forward to the new frontiers that are yet to be explored. And you can bet the show's farewell run will be a monumentous one, as Burnham notes. The only way to make a new future is to take a step forward. That forward-looking spirit has defined Discovery and will continue to drive the enduring Star Trek saga.